Hi everybody, this is Leslie with a little video about messages of love, matters of the heart. Um, I had just had a reading and had to had to do this video. It affected me so very deeply. I I really understand these real problems, and sometimes they get to my heart. I would so glad to help you with yours if you'd like to call for consultation and consulting, or more than a reading, much deeper. Um, the, the woman I read for, she thought. Her, she thought her boyfriend deeply loved her. And no matter what happened to them, she thought love would love would conquer all. And as, as she thought he deeply loved her, she loved him and finally realized it was all for his need, just for him, not her. Tears of deep pain were for her. She's very at the bottom of the barrel right now. She had tried to love him. He wouldn't let her. He sabotaged all efforts, clothing, food, gifts, um, meals that meals that she made for him for two years or more. He accused her of any and all kinds of things. Uh, he accused her of any and all kinds of intimate att attempts, like she sent him a text, kind of a sexy text. He would say it was somebody else, not her. He said something to um, She was a one-woman man. She still is, unfortunately, and she still cares for him, but accusing her constantly. So many negative remarks and accusations like, like you have a thirty, you're a beautiful woman, but you have a thirty, you have a ninety-year-old body or something like that. Horrible things. Like you're nobody because um, uh, you have no family; they're all dead. You're nobody. What horrible things to say to people! But too many negative remarks and accusations. Like I said, too many to mention. She continued to defend herself against them. I, I did ask her. I said to her, "Why defend yourself? Why are you doing this? You haven't done anything wrong, but try and love him. You just tried to love him." He didn't feel her needs by telling her he loved her, her and loving her, hugging her, kissing her, doing things that, being close and sharing things together. And that's what's the only thing that she was only in for one thing, in all his areas. As you do for someone you love, she never felt happy or secure because of this. She finally gave up. This is the... This is a five-year-plus relationship of whatever kind of relationship you want to call it. Not a trust, not a real relationship, not a real together thing. Like not going in a place together. Uh, like she goes in and he meets her, or, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, their friends would always comment about that. After four years, she wanted out of this pain and difficulty. There was all work and drama. She tried to get him to leave her alone in many ways. Many, many ways, and even kind of things that he probably thought were mean, but she just wanted him to leave her alone. Although she loved him in so many ways, he did not leave her alone. He kept accusing. She was still so true to him, and actually still is, unfortunately. I told her, just go out and find somebody new and fill your gas tank up. Just being with him, just a partner, not even the sex part of it. He got sick. Her boyfriend got sick. He obsessed always about having cancer or asbestos problems, asbestos problems. It happened to him. And that's what happens when you, you obsess over something all the time. You can bring it in. And thoughts are things. Believe me, I believe that. But um, it happened to him with lots of prayers. God healed him and is well. He is well. He finally manipulated a phone call with her voice having a nasty sex with him on the line. Said he sa said he played it for his family. And she was devastated. She was, and they didn't want anything to do with her. If you knew her, this would never happen. She would never do something like that. Then he broke into her home looking for other men. That was it. She had been advised from friends and police to get a restraining order. She did. After almost a year, they talked about removing the restraining order and trying it again. She believed him that he loved her and that he wanted to try it again. It is a, re it is a real process, the re removing the restraining order and needs cooperation on his part. Also, what she says is not happening. He's not cooperating. I told her it must not be that important to him. He mustn't care that much. She's doing him a favor, especially since she realizes there's no real feeling there, no emotion. Then another mutual meeting she initiated. He, he, he must believe she stood him up. She was watch, waiting in her car with her dog. He claimed he was inside with his mother. So was she so crushed? She knows it's, it's always been problems. It's always been hard. She's done. Although she still loves him. Real love should never be this hard for all of you. Real love should never be this hard. I told her unless she, he got some help, it would never change. Unless he chooses to get some help, things will never change. Obviously, he does not care for her or love her. I understand that we cannot help who we fall in love with, 
but we can help what we do about it. There are so many problems of the heart out there. Uh, if, if, if you need some help, if you need to talk to somebody, you want some solutions to problems, I'm here. Please call me. Please call me because I am going to turn part of my business into helping people with love problems just because I feel the, uh, the, the, the lessons we have to learn in life are the lessons we have to teach and lessons we have to help people with. It's a time to heal and go forward is what I told her. Her heart is broken. Again, I understand these real problems as a matter of the heart, but she really thought he was interested in trying again and she was going to resolve the problems, but no cooperation. I can help with solutions. Please help me. Call me at 800-541-6999. Goodbye. Bye-bye.